Hi there, I'm Becky Hammond, and welcome to Isogo TV, where we are using StrengthsFinder to fuel the marriage connection you, we crave, the parenting grace we need, and the work energy that flows from a happy home. Today, you are joining me for Isogo TV episode 57. During this mini-series, which we are smack dab in the middle of, we are exploring our marriages, the ins and outs of how to really connect more deeply with your spouse, using your strengths to get there. So join us in this episode, head back and watch the other episodes and stick with us as we are in this mini-series to feel the delight of love more often in your marriage and perhaps even have something more interesting to talk about on date night. Also, be sure to grab the 34 Ways to Connect free PDF over at isogostrong.com 34 connect. So I'm excited for today's content. Let's dive in. I have a mentor who has been married for 49 years and the way that he talks about his bride shows why they have made it through so much together. He self-deprecates to lift her up. He ascribes the success of their family and his internationally successful work to her support and her tenacity. He praises her professional brilliance. He points out how she doesn't complain and how strong she is. At every point he can, it seems, he's, he's saying something glowing and positive about her. And this is when she's around and even when she's not around. And to me, it just, it feels absolutely refreshing. And there are other friends, sadly, of ours, on the other hand, from whom I end up just kind of bracing for the opposite. They poke fun at each other and bring up each other's small infractions just quite frequently. And you know, it's, it's all in jest, in sarcasm, of course, and they would say that, but in me, it brings an opposite reaction. It's not refreshing at all. It's almost uncomfortable in some ways. And when I really reflect on it, I'm just, I'm not quite sure how long they're gonna make it, sadly, I know. <laughs> Today, in our Isogo TV marriage mini series, we are at the halfway point. And we are talking about what I believe is the number one most telling and most influential action on the impact on the connection and even assessment of the health in your marriage. And that is public affirmation and respect. Speaking well of your spouse in public. You know, before we were married, in our baby stages of our relationship, we were actually babies then as well, pretty much, <laughs> I was immediately struck by David's maturity in the way that he talked about me in front of other people and of course to me as well. And from that point on, we really made a point to honor each other in public. And when we're not doing this, which fortunately is not that often, we know that it's a sign that something in our relationship is pretty off. And there are two reasons why I think that this is so important, why speaking positively of your spouse in public is so important, and then two ways to help you get there if you're not there already. So first, the two reasons that I think that speaking well of your spouse in public is so important. The first is that Words mean things. David's dad has been quoted as saying, words mean things. That no matter how much jest is in your words when you say something clever but cutting about your spouse, there's at least a little bit of truth in it. And even if it's not intended by you, your spouse takes it that way. And the people that are around you listening take it that way. If you say she's a klutz, she becomes more so. If you say he's a control freak, he takes it on even more internally. If you say that she has put on a few pounds, that's what other people see. If you say he can't stand up to his boss, that's what his buddies perceive. Words mean things. And then secondly, the second reason why I think this is so important is that 
What you say in public is what you reap in private. When you glow about your spouse in front of others, it builds honor and respect even when you're alone. It plants the seeds of honor and your spouse grows from those seeds. So for example, if you have spent an evening out with friends and you've been kind of ragging on each other, even in jest, when you come home, it's likely that that ragging or even nagging then continues. And those words continue to seep into your heart and your mind or to the heart and mind of your spouse. But if, on the other hand, you've spent the evening praising and affirming your spouse in front of others, your spouse can't help but feel a natural affection for you and they will glow at home too. So let's say that you're willing to try this, that you're willing to speak more respectfully, to speak well of your spouse in public. How do you get there? So I have two ways to help you get there. First, start a new habit. One tip I, I picked up from Michael Hyatt, who was actually also big on speaking honor of your spouse in public, was to not try to stop a bad habit, but rather replace it within something entirely new, something good. So you don't say to yourself that you're going to stop talking about poorly about your husband or with sarcasm about your wife in public, but rather commit to choosing one positive thing to say about him or her every time you go out. That simple step will help shift your habit more than any other action to stop a bad habit can. And then number two, use their specific strengths to pick out a specific good. And this specificity is so powerful. When you affirm specific strengths, especially in front of others, you encourage that strength and then you in turn get more of it. So it's to your benefit as well. You reinforce that behavior in your own mind and you reinforce that behavior in theirs. They own it, they claim it, they say, yeah, this is strong about me. And also you can affirm specific strengths, like for example, that the strengths finder says is true of them because you really want to believe that it's true about them. Maybe it's something that you were a little bit skeptical skeptical about when you read their report or you only see glimpses of that strength in action, the more that you praise and honor that strength and talk about it, you'll start to believe it too. And so will they. They will use it in a more positive way. And, and I really can't overemphasize the power of being uber specific. And for example, instead of saying that David does well at work, for example, which he does, I have found myself saying at times something more like, you know, David is so good at speaking the truth to the people around him, even people with authority over him. And he just has a compass for what is right, a gut feeling that really is almost never off. And I know from reading his reports and knowing, learning more about him, which we talked about back in the first of this mini series, it comes from his belief and his relator and his self-assurance um, and I, as I've learned more about those things, I've able to see them to be specifically unique about him and bring those things up about him in front of others in public in a very specific way. So would you commit to taking this step this week? You know, if there is only one action that you take from this entire Isogo TV mini series about marriage, this would be the one that I would encourage you to actually take not just listen and let it come out, but actually to make changes in the way that you interact with and treat your spouse. Speak well of your spouse in public using their strengths. So if you wanna get more clear about how to delight your spouse through his strengths, you know we've been talking about a free resource that we have, that's a great place to start as well. You can download that over at isogostrong.com 34 connect. And then next week, we get to chat about the impact of our daily habits. So I look forward to seeing you then. All right, I am so glad that you chose to be with me here today on Isogo TV. And as we wrap up, I wanna make sure that you get your free copy of the 34 Ways to Connect free PDF, if you have not already. That is located and can be downloaded over at isogostrong.com 
34 Connect. And if you found something that we were chatting about here today from today's episode useful or thought provoking or had some insight about your own marriage, I would love to hear from you over on our Facebook group. Our Facebook group is called Energy Up, Frustration Down by Strengths. There's a group of us there that are just trying to figure out how to live life in the way that we're wired. So please share your experience over at that Facebook group or by tagging at Strong over on Instagram. I would also love for you to rate and review this show over at iTunes. It tells iTunes what you think about it as well as helps other people be able to find this type of message that can be life-changing as well. So hopefully I will see you over in one of those communities. And either way, I will see you next week on Isogo TV.